everybody's head about the bed. All right, um, quick video here. What we're going to cover is uh, the difference in the gas systems used on uh, uh, the different configurations of M60s throughout the years. We're going to cover what the differences are, um, some of the good and some of the bad. We'll make it quick and to the point. Um, I have four barrels laid out here. Uh, this is a standard configuration barrel. The bipod's been removed. It's just a little easier to see it in the video. We have an, uh, this is an M60 E4 barrel, but it has an E3 gas system. This is an M60 E4 barrel with the E4 gas system. And then we have an M60 E6 barrel down here. Uh, so to start off here, um, this standard barrel uh, consists, consists of a bunch of different parts on the gas system. Uh, we have the gas extension that has a lock washer to hold on. We have the gas nut, which also has a lock washer to hold on. We have a gas plug in the bottom. Um, and then on the inside, we have a gas piston. I'll show you that right there. You can see on this, uh, it has um, safety wire that's hooked onto this. Um, there should be some on the front, too, here. It just doesn't have it. And the back. Uh, you can see, actually, this is loose. The reason that they had that uh, that safety wire on there is because this gun when firing this stuff works itself loose and um, they, they'd have gas extensions coming off, you'd have gas nuts coming off like we just saw there how that's loose and uh, once they come out um, your gun stops functioning. The whole gun relies on this gas system to cycle it. Um, this is the first uh, generation gas piston that I showed you earlier uh, you can see one side is flat, one side is open. This has to be placed a certain way inside of the M60 and um, that would mean it would have to be this way with the flat surface to the rear. Reason being is if you install this backwards uh, with this side to the rear the gun won't function. You'll get a single shot out of it and that's it. Um, they found this to be a design flaw because you know people People install these backwards, and then uh, they take them into the fight, and then they don't uh, they don't function properly. Um, this is just a lot going on with the standard gas system, okay? And, and and this gun and this design was made in 1957, so at the time that's what they believed to be the best uh, uh, design, and um, it had its flaws. It had its flaws. It was one of the major flaws with the entire gun. So we fast forward here in 1985. 1985 is when uh, the M60 E3 was um, developed here and uh, there were some different changes made to that. So we'll look at our E3 gas plug on here and this was also used on E4, we'll get into it then, but um, this gas cylinder now, you see there's no plug on the bottom. You just have your ports. There's no gas nut on the back. It's just a nice machine piece there so um, you know you don't have to worry about that coming off so it, it really consists of gas piston on the inside you have your gas extension and then just a nut that holds it on um, this gas piston on the inside of this this is the E3 piston you can see it's the same on both sides it can't be installed backwards like this one much smaller it's a much better design it's much more reliable uh, by having this one piece here it, it, it really simplifies things, especially for cleaning. Um, this, this is an M60, this is the E3 gas system, and what it is is you can see it's threaded here, and this would, th this would thread to the inside of this gas cylinder, there's threads in there, and then once that's in place, this secondary nut goes over top and threads to the outside of the gas cylinder. And that's just kind of like, uh, making sure that it just doesn't come out of there. These gas systems do have their flaws. These can wear out. Um, you can see these. this piece down here 
can see if the camera gets it. A lot of copper fouling in there. A lot of copper fouling. And this is from extreme use, but still, um, these can fail after X amount of service life. It's good to have some spares of these. They'll go before your barrel goes. <clears throat> so this was a good design. Uh, but, but what they found was this can still work its way off. All right, and if you see there, the let's try to get it. You can see a hole right there on this exterior nut. Some have them, some don't. The ones that have them are later ones. They designed that because these still come off, so they have that there to wire these on still. Overall, um, really, really improved design, but it still had its problems. Um, like I said, mainly this, this coming off. Let's fast forward here. Uh, I want to say around, oh, I don't know, 19, 1993, 94, 95, around that time frame. Seiko Defense started uh, designing this E4 gas system. You can see it's much bigger, fatter uh, than this E3 one. Personally, I like the way this one looks the best. Um, so, same thing, it uses the exact same gas cylinder as our E3, same piston as well. It's just, this is different. They wanted to design this so that it doesn't come off. Um, so what you have is, you have this uh, plug, which I didn't take this apart because this is factory set, so I don't want to take it apart. Uh, you can see that uh, this, this plug um, screws into the interior threads of this gas system and then they have this and then they have this retaining nut with this um, this roll pin coming out of it so that this can't rotate off because it won't allow it to go past this mounting point there's a c-clip in there that holds this on as well again I don't want to take this apart this is factory set by Seiko Defense in uh, let's see 1992 so uh, this is a factory barrel, so in 1992 this was this was put this way. Now this is an improved design. It, it fixed the flaw of this coming off. The gas system is not coming off. It's not happening. But what they saw was this was prone to cracking, um, and that was a design flaw. So uh, around 1997, this gas system's life was short-lived. Uh, they went back to the E3. They went back to the E3 because. This sure this can rotate off, but it, it's not going to fail on you. Which is why this is an E4 barrel. It's a heavy fluted E4 barrel that was made in 2011, and it has this gas system on it because this is what they went back to. So all the M60 E4s went back to this E3 type gas system. And as long as you stay on top of it and you're making sure that it's it's properly maintained, it's not going to come off there. You know this one's torqued down very tight on here at the factory. I, I can't get it off. All right, uh, so let's fast forward here to uh, what 2014. I want to say, yep, 14. They designed this new gas system for the M60 E6. This is totally different. I love it, and uh, it's really, it's really a good system. So our previous gas systems, as you can see here, for example, all of them have these threads on the gas cylinder itself that this nut attaches to, whether it's E3 or E4, it's threaded. They did away with that. They did away with that, um, as you can see on here. There's no threads on here. Uh, this is machined in. It's part of the gas cylinder itself. And um, th there is threads on the inside still. We'll break this down. This is great because you got to keep your gas system clean in order for this thing to function properly. And it's always a pain taking the gas plug off, but with this one, it's very easy. There's a spring in here. Um, you can see if I push that down, it, it, it allows me to push it down. And there's a C-clip in there. So what we'll do is we'll push this down. Right there, you can see this clip easily comes out. There's your clip. And then this comes off. This is just a retainer. This is this this spring and this retention system um, keeps this from ever rotating out of here when this is on. Then we have our spring. Then we have this. This is what again what keeps our 
our gas plug itself from coming out of there. You can see this has teeth on it, right? And these hook into those teeth. And once that spring and clamp and C-clip is on here, this can't move. It can't rotate. And then if we just look at this here, we can see that this plug is threaded into the inside of this cylinder. So um, they basically simplify things. It's by far the best gas system that, that we've seen so far. Um, it, it's very easy to remove if you have to remove it, but at the same time, it's never coming off. Um, it's had probably millions of rounds through at this point, and it, they've had no issues. Again, we'll put this back together and show that it goes on just as easy as it comes off. Trying to get it so the camera gets it. And rip back together. That's the E6 gas system. So that's it, that's all of them. Um, from generation one, 1957, to the E3 in 1985, the E4 around the early 90s time frame, I don't have a specific date, and then the E6, which came out, I think was officially released in 2014. Those are the different gas systems. Um, familiarize yourself with them, it's important. It's important that we keep these gas ports clean regardless of what barrel you have. It's good to have a combination tool with a gas port reamer on it. That reamer is important, it can build up in there, and uh, it's very easy to ream the, the um, carbon and stuff out of there so it functions properly. So uh, that's it, that's all the uh, M60 gas systems to date.